Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 781. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 779 to 786, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we want to do three way lookup. Property 1, Section 6 in May, we need to return this value. The, tr the complication here is normally if we had a table like this, it would be two way lookup. We'd look up the section from here, and we'd look up the month from here. We'd say, hey, it's in row 6, hey, it's in column 5, and we find the intersecting value. But now we have an extra. In essence, one, oh, sorry, one, two, three way lookup. There's three criteria. Uh, now we could just add an extra column and join these two columns using concatenation. But if you didn't want that extra column, that's where the single cell formula will work. And the idea, again, is if I go to, um, Property 1, Section 2, and then I want to see February, right? The intersecting value should be that right there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the index function, index. Index is a lookup function, and the array has to be a two-way table. Now, one way means if I just highlight this, there's only one column and many rows. If I highlight it out like this, there's one row and many columns. But as soon as you highlight a range that has two directions, meaning more than one row and more than one column, this array is two-way. And that's what index is so brilliant at. We're going to give it a row number and a column number, and it will find the intersecting values. For example, right now we need one, two row, one, two column, and it would know. All right, comma. Now, it's easy to look up relative positions. So the relative position of February in this list is two. The relative position of property one, section two in this list is two, right? So row number, column number, yes, we need to put the right number into row number, column number uh, argument for index, but we can use one function called match. Match looks up the relative position of an item in the list. Now, here we're going to do the row number first, right? Even though we see the screen tip for match, which is nice because then we know how to fill out match, if I were to put my cursor right there, the match is inside the row number. Now, here's the complication. We have two values. But that's not really a complication because we can join these together. So for the lookup value, remember I need to look up through this column and find both of these and tell me the relative position. I'm going to click there and use the ampersand, Shift 7. That's the join symbol and join these together. So what we've done is we've taken two criteria and created a single criteria. Now, you can highlight this and hit the F9 key. That's evaluate. No way. There it is from 2 to 1. Now we have one item to look up. Now, comma. Look up array. Well, here's the problem. This has to be a one-way array. And we have two columns. But no problem. We use the same trick. Highlight and Shift 7. Join symbol and highlight two columns. Now, we can easily prove ourselves that this has, from two columns, become one when I hit F9. You could see here it says property one, section one. Semicolon means go down to the next row. Property one, section two. Absolutely beautiful from two columns to one. Now, when you join two columns like this, you have jumped into the realm of array uh, formulas because we're actually doing some sort of calculation on arrays instead of single cells. So we're going to have to enter this formula in a special way. Array formulas are awesome. They just take an extra keystroke when you enter them in. All right, so that's the array comma, and we're doing exact match because we're looking up words that are not necessarily sorted. Zero, close parentheses. All right, now, the beautiful thing about screen tips, once you complete your match, you see that's the row number. Now I type a comma to get to column number. And this one's straightforward. We say match. I'm looking up this comma relative position within this list right here. Right now it would deliver a two. Look up array comma, and the match type is 0 again. Match type, close parentheses. Now we close parentheses. That's the column number, close parentheses. Now if I hit Enter like we normally do, it gives us a value error because this is an array formula. We've done an operation on two arrays. So instead of Enter, you have to hold Control and Shift together and then hit Enter. 
control shift enter is you telling Excel I've done an array formula and those curly brackets which you can't type in or Excel telling you hey I understand you did an array formula that is beautiful now I change this to April absolutely beautiful now I'm going to take go down to property two section uh, T so I'm going to change this to section T here scroll down this list Oh, I get an NA, and the reason why is because it's not finding a match for property one section T. Right, there is none. So no problem. We're going to amend this formula. We are going to, when it gives us an, by the way, it fixes as soon as you go like that. So if you don't mind the NA, then it just for a moment there, it'll, uh, then who cares? You can just use this. But we can fix this up a little bit. We can tell this formula, hey, when this whole big formula calculates to an error, please show a blank or the uh, the words uh, not available. We're going to use the if error. If error function. This is new in 2007. In earlier versions you had to use this whole thing and list it twice inside of an if, right? And so uh, if error allows us to only list it once, which means it calculates faster. Now, that's the value and the value can be anything, even a monster formula like this comma, and then it's simply, hey, what do you want to C in the cell if that thing comes out to be an error. You could put something like in double quotes, not available or whatever you wanted. I'm just going to list a, a double quotes. Double quote, double quote is blank. It's a thing though. Close parentheses on that and if I hit enter, I'm going to get a blank because I haven't control shift enter. So I'm going to control shift enter. There's my 632. Now when I accidentally scroll up and I'm thinking I'm going to uh, property to section two, there is none, but as soon as I do this, there we have it. All right, so that's a three-way lookup. Uh, if you download the workbook, you can see this conditional formatting. You can highlight this range and go up to conditional formatting. Uh, manage rules. I have some videos at YouTube if you search for conditional formatting whole row or whole column or conditional formatting intersecting value. I have some tricks on that. All right, we'll see you next trick.